Good day, everyone. We are now in week 3 of quarter 1, and the lesson is all about geometric sequence. The competency is illustrates a geometric sequence. I am your virtual teacher, Medea Sikatalan, from Urdaneta City National High School. Let us review first the multiplication and division of sign numbers. In multiplying to sign numbers, multiply their absolute value. If the signs are like signs, the product is always positive. Example, for letter A, negative 5 times negative 6, the product is positive 30. Letter B, negative 12 times negative 3, the product is positive 36. Letter C, Positive 5 times positive 7, the product is positive 35. If the signs are unlike signs, the product is always negative. Examples. Letter A. Negative 3 times positive 6, the product is negative 18. Letter B. Positive 16 times negative 3, the product is negative 48. For letter C, negative 22 times positive 4, the product is negative 88. In dividing two sign numbers, divide their absolute value. If the signs are like signs, the quotient is always positive. Examples, letter A, negative 25 divided by negative 5, the quotient is positive 5. For letter B, Negative 72 divided by negative 9, the quotient is positive 8. And for letter C, positive 125 divided by 25, positive 25, the quotient is positive 5. If the signs are unlike signs, the quotient is always negative. Examples, letter A, negative 25 divided by positive 5, the quotient is negative 5. Letter B. Positive 36 divided by negative 6. The quotient is negative 6. And letter C. Negative 81 divided by positive 3. The quotient is negative 27. Let's proceed to our lesson. The definition of geometric sequence. is Geometric sequence is a sequence such that any element after the first is obtained by multiplying the preceding element by a constant term called the common ratio, which is denoted by R. The common ratio R is obtained by dividing any term by the preceding term. Example, what is the common ratio of the geometric sequence 6, 12, 24, 48, 96? As you can see, 6 is the first term or a sub 1, 12 is the second term or a sub 2, 24 is the third term or a sub 3, 48 is the fourth term or a sub 4, 96 is the fifth term or a sub 6. To find the common ratio, divide a sub 2 by a sub 1, and that is 12 divided by 6, the quotient is 2. A sub 3 divided by A sub 2, and that is 24 divided by 12, the quotient is 2. For A sub 4 divided by A sub 3, that is 48 divided by 24, and the quotient is 2. So the common ratio of the geometric sequence 6, 12, 24, 48, 96 is 2. A geometric sequence with definite number of terms is referred to as a finite geometric sequence or a sequence with a last term. Example, letter A, we have the sequence 1, 5, 25, 125, 625. Letter B, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2. A geometric sequence with indefinite number of terms is described as infinite geometric sequence or it has no last term. Examples for letter A, 
80, 40, 20, 10, 5, and so on. For letter B, we have 1 half, 1 6, 1 18, 1 54, 1 160 second, and so on. So the three dots here denotes as ellipsis or it has no last term. Example for activity 1. Determine if the sequence is geometric. If it is, find the common ratio and classify whether it is finite or infinite geometric sequence. Example number 1. We have the sequence 8, 4, 2, 1, and so on. To find the common ratio, divide the second term to the first term, and that is 4 divided by 8 or 1 half. A sub 3 divided by A sub 2, and that is 2, 4, 2 divided by 4 or 1 half. A sub 4 divided by A sub 3, and that is 1 half. So the common ratio here is 1 half, and it is a geometric sequence. And it is an infinite geometric sequence. Number two, example. We have the sequence 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. To find the common ratio, a sub 2 divide, divide a sub 2 by a sub 1. And that is 10 divided by 8 or 5 fourths. A sub 3 divided by A sub 2, and that is 12 divided by 10, or 6 fifths. A sub 4 divided by A sub 3, and that is 14 divided by 12, or 7 sixths. So it, is, it has no common ratio, and it is not a geometric sequence. Example number 3. We have the sequence 32, 16. 8, 4, 2. Find the common ratio. We have A sub 2 divided by A sub 1, and that is 16 divided by 32, or 1 half. A sub 3 divided by A sub 2, that is 8 divided by 16, or 1 half. A sub 4 divided by A sub 3, that is 4 divided by 8, or 1 half. The common ratio is 1 half, and it is an example of finite geometric sequence. For activity 2, we have here examples. Find the missing terms in geometric sequence. Number 1, 2 thirds, 2, 6, blank, blank, blank. Find the common ratio. A sub 2 divided by A sub 1 that is 2 divided by 2 thirds. Okay, so in dividing whole number by a fraction, copy the numerator, multiply it by the reciprocal of the denominator. So we have 2 times 3 halves. Okay, or we have 2 over 1 times 3 halves. 2 times 3 is 6, 1 times 2 is 2, so 6 divided by 2, and the quotient is 3. For a sub 3 divided by a sub 2, we have 6 divided by 2, and the quotient is 3. So the common ratio is 3. Okay, so for the missing terms, multiply the third term by the common ratio and that is 3 so 6 times 3 18 and 18 times 3 is 54 and 54 times 3 is 162 so the missing terms are 18 54 and 162 for the sequence uh, 2 thirds 2 6, 18, 54, and 162. Example number 2. Blank, blank, 1 fourth, 1 half, blank. So to find the common ratio, 
Okay, we have here the given one-fourth and one-half. Okay, so let uh, a sub 4 divided by a sub 3. Okay, so we have one-half divided by one-fourth. Okay, so in dividing fraction by fraction, okay, so copy the numerator, multiply it by the reciprocal of the denominator, which is 4 over 1. So, 1 half times 4 over 1, that is 1 times 4 is 4, then 2 times 1 is 2, 4 divided by 2 is 2, the quotient is 2. Okay, so... To find the last term, we have 1 half times the common ratio, which is 2, and that is the quotient is 1. For the second term, we have 1 fourth divided by 2. Okay, so copy the numerator, multiply it by the reciprocal of the denominator, and that is 2 over 1, which is 1 half. So, 1 times 1 is 1, 4 times 2 is 8. So, the quotient is 1 8. And for a sub 1 or the first term, we have 1 8 divided by 2. And that is, um, copy the numerator which is 1 8, multiply by the reciprocal of 2 and that is 1 half. So, 1 times 1 is 1, 8 times 2 is 16. So, the quotient is 1 16. So, the common ratio is 2. And we have here the missing terms. We, we have 1 16, 1 8, and 1. For example, for activity 3, determine whether each of the following sequence is arithmetic or geometric and explain your decision. For example, number 1, we have the sequence 4, 12, 36, 108, 324. So, it is a geometric sequence because the element is multiplied by 3 or the terms has a common ratio. For number 2, we have the sequence negative 6, negative 2, positive 2, positive 6, and positive 10. So, it is an arithmetic sequence because the next element is added by 4 or the terms has a common difference, which is 4. Thank you and stay tuned for the next virtual instruction.